What is up guys, it is your boy Retro Reflux. We're back with another FIFA 20 play review. Um, why did 20 come out like that? But anyways, we're looking at 94 team of the season so far. Alex Teller is one of the best left backs in the game for sure. He's about 400, he is like 400k, 410k. He went up quite a bit out of PAP, so that's good for me. But very good player. Um, Brazilian, great links. Pair him up with uh, Adam Militao. Great combo there on the left side. Uh, he is very elite attacking and defending. You could honestly play him as a wide cam. I could see that happening. Or as a left mid in a 3-5-2. I think he'd be very effective in both those positions as well as a left back in any formation. Uh, just because he has high, high work rate. So he gets up that line back and forth very quickly, very effectively. Insane pace, guys. Nothing really to talk about there in 96 pace. Shooting-wise, he has good shot power. To be honest, I didn't really get a lot of opportunities to shoot with this guy. But um, his finishing is not bad for a left back. Like 74, come on, that's pretty good. 91 shot power is fantastic. Long shots at 86. Um, only bad thing is the two-star weak foot. So you're going to really have to rely on his, I think, yeah, his left foot. Um, that right foot is going to be whack. So don't even bother pass, uh, shooting with that foot. But passing, amazing passing stats. Uh, 95 vision. What, what do we have here? 99 short passing, 90 long, 99 long passing, 99 curve, insane passing stats. Uh, his dribbling is very good, 83 agility. You can probably boost that up a bit. I didn't, and it was fine, but uh, the agility is very good. Ball control, dribbling, 95, 94 respectively. Very good there. 91 composure, very composed player. Um, he can make passes under pressure. Very good at that. Uh, what's his crossing? 99 crossing as well, I forgot to mention. The, his defending stats are very, very good as well. Interceptions, uh, standing tackles, slide tackling, all very good. When he tackles someone, guys, um, he maintains control of the ball. He's able to turn around very quickly because of his good agility and good dribbling. And he's able to make a pass to just gun it down the wing. Like, he is very good. I love having him as a left back. Left mid, he'd be very good as well. You could even play him as a CDM. I think he would be very effective as a CDM, guys. I would definitely recommend you guys try that. Maybe put an engine on if you're going to do that. Because his defending stats are already fantastic. So I don't really think you need to do anything else there. Um, I think I bought him with an architect. I think it's a waste. You should definitely put on an engine or um, I think engine just to boost the dribbling a bit, the agility mostly. He has some insane stats. So, like, if you just look at his in-game stats, all across the board, they're amazing. But um, his jumping's good. He has good heading. Stamina's at 99. That's going to last the whole game. He's just a very effective ball winner. Um, and then once he, made, one, like I was saying, like he once he uh, gains control of the ball, uh, he's able to transition into attack because he has very good passing stats. Or if the passes are covered, he can run into space because he has amazing pace. Or, you know, he can take someone off on the dribble. Because uh, if you're dribbling past the left mid, usually, most of the time, or right mid, sorry, because he's on the left-hand side. Um, if you're dribbling past the right mid, most of the time, they don't have great defending stats. So, you can dribble past people with this guy. I really enjoyed Alex Tellers. Um, I definitely recommend you guys picking him up. He's a great left back. You see in these clips, he's making amazing tackles. He's dribbling past people, making assists. He's a very good player. Um, only bad thing I can say about him is the two-star weak foot. Um, I didn't have any issues with it, but it is a weakness for shooting-wise, at least. Uh, passing-wise, there's no... I don't think there's an issue because he has 99 passing, basically. So, um, that, that, um, two-star weak foot won't really factor into that. But shooting-wise, um, yeah, it's going to be kind of awkward shooting with that right foot. So I wouldn't really, uh... That's why I'm going to think it as a con. Otherwise, you know, it wouldn't be a big deal. But I'm giving him a 99 of 100. 400k for what I feel like is probably the le best left back in the game, I would say. Um, I don't. I haven't tried the Alexandro card, but looking card stats-wise, this guy looks so much better. Only bad thing is the league is a bit off. But you have so much Brazilian players, uh, it shouldn't be a problem. Definitely recommend you guys picking him up. And that's it for the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate all the support. I'm so sorry I haven't been uploading recently. I've just been grinding on Minecraft Dungeons. Hope to get some vids on that pretty soon. I just, I just want to get max level and really uh, 
really show you guys the end game and what that has to offer but if you have any questions about fifa or minecraft dungeons leave some comments below let me know how you like these games or uh, how you like alex tellers or what other reviews you want to see next uh, let me know got a bunch of reviews lined up i was saying i just haven't got around to editing them putting the clips together but um yeah guys that's it for the video thank you for the support once again and i will catch you guys in the next video i love y'all stay healthy and peace I think you need a minute just for you to understand I gotta know if you gon' hold it down if we hit it But otherwise you gotta stand out everywhere we win So fuck the circumstance and fuck the finance I'm thankful for everything that's in my life Mama's stressing me out, she think I'm wasting all my time